Hello, this is Arjit Chaudhary from BMC Software. In this video, we will look at how we can add vCenter server as an agentless managed object in TSSA. This is required to set up VMware environment for management by TrueSight Server Automation. As the name suggests, we need to use a proxy server to connect to vCenter server before we enroll it in TSSA. We need to ensure here that the RSCD version should be exactly same to that of TSSA application server version. As we are using a proxy server here, we do not install RSCD agent on vCenter server. So to enroll a vCenter server as an agentless managed object, we right click a static group or on the server node and select virtualization add VMware virtual center. Under properties section, we need to locate the agentless managed object proxy host property and edit its property value by browsing to the name of the Windows system configured as the proxy host. Once we are through with it, we see vCenter server is enrolled in TSSA. Coming to the configuration part of it, we navigate to property dictionary view and browse to the built-in property class, connection class. On the instances tab, we need to create a connection instance as per the defined naming convention. The newly created instance contains the connection details for the vCenter server. We also have to set few properties for the new connection instance like connection URL, connection user and connection password. We save the instance and thereafter we run distribute configuration objects job on newly added vCenter server. Please note that we are not running USP job here as there is no agent installed on vCenter server. In addition, on the proxy server, we need to make changes in the asset IMPL config.xml configuration file, which is placed under RSED installation directory. In the configuration file, we need to set asset IMPL proxy capable option to a value of true. In this configuration file, once we set it to true, we'll save this file. If we'll go back to vCenter server and live browse the vCenter node, we see all VMware virtual assets reflecting. If you want to know more about how do we manage VMware vSphere environment, let us know in the comment section. There we have the VMware virtual assets. Thanks for watching.